Hi, my name is Allison Hanna. I'm a work study in Suffolk University Studio 73. Welcome to Actors Corner. This is a television show for actors by actors. Today we'll be seeing the actor Casey Williamson perform a monologue from Hamlet by William Shakespeare. To be or not to be? That is the question. Whether tis nobler in the mind to, to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing end them. To die, to sleep, no more, and by a sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. Tis a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die, to sleep. To sleep, perchance to dream, aye, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come. When we have shuffled off this mortal coil, must give us pause. And there's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pangs of despised love, the law's delay, the insolence of office, and the spurns that patient merit of the unworthy takes when he himself might his quietus make with a bare bodkin who would fardels bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life but that the dread of something after death the undiscovered country from whose born no Traveler returns, puzzles the will, and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly off to somewhere we know not of. Thus conscience doth make cowards of us all, and thus the native hue of resolution is sicklied o'er with the pale cast of thought and enterprises of great pith and moment with this regard their currents turn awry and lose the name of action. Thank you so much for doing that monologue for us. That was wonderful. For those who don't know, that's Hamlet's monologue from the play Hamlet by William Shakespeare. And we're very familiar with Shakespeare these days as we just performed in Cymbeline, which yeah. is another Shakespeare show. Um, so what do you think are some of the, the themes and like interesting things that are going on within the play of Hamlet? Hamlet? Um, well, this monologue itself touches some very key themes and details. Basically, like life and death, those are the two very large themes that this monologue and play is tackling. Just what happens after and what mortality is, you know? Just being here in the, in the world and reality and Hamlet's kind of dealing with in this monologue of like, should I be here? Do I have to deal with all this trauma that I'm facing? The death of his father, you know, his uncle marrying his mother. Like, should he have to deal with this or should he just end it all? But then comes the fear of the unknown. Who knows what happens after you die, you know? That's kind of some big themes of life and death that's happening right here. And it's, it's a very scary reality that a lot of people don't want to talk about. And I think this play touches that, those themes very very well and very intensely, you know what I mean? They, it shoves you into this, this world mm -hmm. and those themes. Yeah, I think even if Shakespearean language can be really um, daunting and really mm -hmm. hard to get into, the themes are ever-present and mm -hmm. relatable in our current day, and I think that's right. probably why we still gravitate towards Shakespeare in 2021. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, and some questions on your acting. What influenced you to pursue acting in the beginning? Well, in high school, I was in a musical, and I did a bunch of plays before this, but um, there's this one musical that really 
made me realize how much I loved acting. It was like the rehearsal processes, I just noticed that I wasn't me. I was this character that I could just jump into. And when I performed it in front of people, they noticed that, you know? And I really felt that I just didn't have to be me for like even two hours. It felt so good, you know what I mean? To take this character from paper and just make it into something real and tangible and just a human. I think it's really cool. It's a really beautiful process. Mm -hmm. It's it, the creative part of it and just everything that goes into theater. I think it's so beautiful and I really love acting just specifically because I can become that character, you know, I can be someone else. Yeah, that's something that I've always loved about acting is being able to embody someone else, someone different than you. So even if you're playing a villain and sometimes villains are the yeah. most fun to play, um, you get to be someone else for a day. So I think that's wonderful. Right, it's so much fun. Um, what do you feel is more important for an actor, talent or training? Well, I think that it's a good mixture of both. I think talent really comes over time. People who are born with like an ability to sing, you know, they still need training to make it what it can be. I think just believing that you're like the best, you know, maybe you really aren't. If you if you only stick by like, oh, I'm the best, I, and you have no training, or mm -hmm. you just think you're born with this talent, I think that it's not going to go anywhere because you're not professionally trying to help yourself tune it. And it's really that fine tuning of like acting and singing and all these things that really help you be the best version of an actor or a theater professional that you want to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really a nice balance of both. I yeah, think. I think it takes a lot of work and a lot of training mm -hmm. um, to do what we do. Right. Um, what is your, what do you think is the hardest thing about acting? Uh, huh. I'd say the hardest thing is probably lines. I think once you get the character down, the lines kind of just come naturally, but it's that like fear that you're not going to have them, that you're going, especially in theater, like you're about to go up in front of who knows how many people and like if you forget your line, that's it. You have, you're like stuck in that moment of like, this is it. You mm -hmm. have to improv it, you have to think of something or like rely on your fellow actor. But in this monologue, actually, he's alone on the scene. So if the actor happens to forget the monologue when Hamlet's doing it to the audience, that's it, you know? You have to improv, you have to figure it out. So that's, I think, one of the hardest things of acting is lines and like memorization and like just really knowing that you have it down. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a process. Yeah. Um, yeah, learning the lines, memorizing the lines is hard, yeah. but then going on stage and and with the nerves trying right. to remember the lines right. is even harder. So it's that fear. Yeah. And what motivates you in this industry? Oh, I think my passion and my creativity for theater and just the beautiful world it gives, you know what I mean? That very nice just feeling of like security and like you belong in a, in a world in a community if you don't belong in this one you know you believe you belong in theater no matter what who, no matter who you are you, you feel safe you feel comfortable and I think every play every musical touches on that kind of it it has some sort of real life reality to it that some even movies don't have you know mm -hmm. it's beautiful I think theater is one of the most immersive reality based art form as there is. Yeah. It was the first art form, you know? Yeah, and I love what you said about community. I think community is really important for anyone. And when you're in the theater community or when you're in the film community, mm -hmm. it's very creative and it's very collaborative. Yeah. So working with other people is um, very important. Right. So one of the last questions I'm going to ask you, what do you think is a myth that you want to bust surrounding actors? Uh, <laughs> There's say, a lot of them. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, I'd say a myth that I want to bust is that we're not afraid when we get up on stage. I think all actors have that kind of fear. It's actually said by a lot of professionals that if you don't have that fear, those nerves before you get on, you don't care. So if you are nervous, then that's that means you care. And I mm -hmm. think a lot of people think actors are just like born with like this like fearlessness. It's like they don't care. They just get up on stage and just do it. But that's not the case. It's some are even more scared than like normal people who don't act, you know? Mm -hmm. But they do it because they love it. I think that's a big myth that I want to bust is that actors get nervous just like everyone else. Yes, actors do get nervous. Um, and actors are just human like the rest right. of us. We're so. all just human. Yeah. Um, well, thank you so much for coming on the show. I really appreciate it. And Thanks I loved your me. monologue in the beginning. So Thanks. thank you. Thank you.